Hmm, time to cook. Where's the DS? Oh, there it is. Huh, this is different. Hey everyone, it's Game Tim, and today I'm taking a break from Cooking Mama to try a dish from another one of my favorite video games, Pokemon X and Y. I'll be making the popular in-game snack and status healing item, the Lumios Galette from scratch based on my own recipe. Originally from Lumio City, and making its way to Hoenn and Alola in recent games, this dessert, like its region, is based off of a real French counterpart. The term galette can apply to any flat, round, or freeform crusty cake, and can be sweet or savory. While I'm throwing together my take on this callous delicacy, I want to chat about similarities between its city of origin and the French capital Paris, as well as some other notable landmarks Game Freak recreated in its 6th generation games. If you want to follow along at home, you'll need flour, sugar, cinnamon, salt, butter, and water for the crust, and an apple, cinnamon, cloves, ginger, butter, cornstarch, lemon juice, and sugar for the fruit filling. I can't bay leaf that I'm finally branching outside of Cooking Mama. I hope it isn't unacceptable, but why not, right? So let's try to make a Lumios Gallade. I mean, galette. First, we'll add flour to two separate bowls, along with sugar, salt, and in one bowl, cinnamon, and add butter in chunks to this mixture. So let's start with the obvious. The first of many similarities between Lumio City and Paris, France, is its major landmark. The Lumio City Gym, Prism Tower, is a spot-on replica of the Eiffel Tower. Then work the ingredients together until there are no longer large chunks of butter in either bowl. Both Kalos and its real-life counterpart are huge tourist destinations, the former attracting such major characters as Professor Oak's grandson Blue and the Alola trial captain, Alima. Now drizzle cold water into each bowl and continue working the dough until it forms a ball. Add a few drops of water as needed, but make sure the dough isn't too wet. If we take a look at the maps of the region and the country, we can also see that they're almost identical in shape, complete with mountain placement and rivers. Knead the dough a few times and wrap each ball, flattened slightly, in plastic wrap. Speaking of similar shapes, both cities are laid out the same, with roads and railroads leading out to all parts of the surrounding regions, and both contain intersecting rivers. These should chill in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. While we wait, we can make the fruit filling. Peel an apple and slice it into thin pieces. Based on the windows, lamps, and colors of the Lumio City train station, it can be easily based off of the real Gare du Nord station in Paris. Then add butter to a microwave-safe bowl and melt it for about a minute. Now add in cinnamon, ginger, cloves, cornstarch, lemon juice, and sugar. Then mix. Not exactly in Lumio City or Paris, but I've always seen similarities between the Kalos Pokemon League and Chateau de Chambord which makes sense as both are major landmarks. Pour this mixture over the apples from earlier and make sure they're evenly coated. One of the more obvious similarities, the five multicolored plazas in Lumio City are literally named after the French words for their corresponding colors. Now roll out the refrigerated dough into two equally sized circles. Using a bowl, cut the cinnamon dough into three semicircles. This will help us make the prism tower shape on top of our galette and place them on the outside of the other circle, overlapping just a bit. Another major Kalos landmark, the Tower of Mastery, is also visually similar to its real-life counterpart, Mont Saint-Michel. They're both even located in the northwest. We can now lay out our apple filling. Fit as many apples as possible on top of our plain dough circle, then fold the cinnamon dough on top. The Battle Chateau, a place I spent a ton of time in during my playthrough, is probably based off of the Chateau de Chonosu in the Loire Valley. This is especially apparent in the anime rendition. Clean up the shape of the galette to better match the games, and then transfer it onto a greased cookie sheet. I'm going to bake mine in an oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 minutes, and we'll see how close it looks to the original. So how did it turn out? I can see why it heals all status ailments. It's delicious. The lemon juice and apple sweetness worked well together, and there's just enough cinnamon to be flavorful, but not overpowering. Appearance-wise, it could be nicer, but galettes are traditionally hand-formed, so I'm giving myself a pass. I understand that the triangle on top of the game's pastry may be caused by crust breaking, but I kind of like my prism tower-shaped apple window. 
Looking back, I wish I had remembered to brush egg on the crust before baking, and spent more time shaping my design in the middle. I think it would have made it look a lot nicer, and the egg would have added a rich brown color and glossiness. I hope you enjoyed this attempt at in-game food from Pokemon. Don't worry, I haven't abandoned cooking with Cooking Mama. I just wanted to try something different. If you like this video and you want to see more, please subscribe and comment your thoughts on my recipe. It can definitely be expanded on and improved, and I'd love to hear what you have to say. See ya!